In case you missed it, residents of a mobile home park south of Ottumwa still being told to evacuate. Flood water has surrounded the Valley Village mobile home community on Rabbit Run Road. They shut our electric off. There's some people who said they're going to wait until Friday, but I don't have a chance, you know. It's like, you got to survive. You can't change yourself in this situation. Des Moines River levels in Wapello County were expected to reach 18 feet today, which Emergency Management Coordinator Tim Richmond said will flood Valley Village. Property Manager Becca Roberts tells me there are roughly 100 mobile homes in the Valley Village community. She estimated about half of the residents have evacuated so far. An emergency shelter is still set up at the Elks Lodge in Ottumwa for those who need it. And some residents waited out. Emergency officials are keeping a close eye on tonight's river projections. Richmond tells me in Wapello County, the Des Moines River could crest lower than expected, but he's still encouraging residents to prepare for the worst. It's been changing about three times a day lately. So I encourage people to have their preparedness kit already, their plan already, know where you're going to go, know who you can call, um, and don't wait to the last minute. That's, that's what gets people in trouble, is they just assume they're going to be rescued. We don't have enough resources to do that. Richmond added that river levels right now are somewhere between 16 and 17 feet. He expects the conditions to drop tomorrow and rise again later this week. That's because on Friday, the Army Corps of Engineers is scheduled to release water at Lake Red Rock at 50,000 cubic feet per second. Richmond says he'll be waiting for another projection update from the National Weather Service this evening. That's our broadcast for tonight. Have a great night.